Okay, what's up YouTube? Um, I'm gonna do a quick review of PI and I from uh, Motor Express. Um, I was under the assumption that their training program, which they said is four to six weeks, you learn how to secure uh, flatbed uh, coils, uh, racks. Um, so it's been five years since I've grew up a truck so I was a little you know rusty the um, lady said that that wouldn't be a problem you know they said they would train me so I'm like okay you know so I would go to training the first week um, nothing but paperwork uh, you fill out papers you watch a bunch of videos about safety um, that's all that is a, a week of you know papers and watching videos uh, you get your drug screen done um, then the second week um, you go out and they teach you how to secure your load um, you practice on the practice truck in the yard um, so Monday I get to the training and they say well we're gonna we need to go to cleveland uh to pick up some trailers so i'm like well it's been quite some time before since i've been on a truck you know i don't know if i feel comfortable driving all the way to cleveland yet without practicing you know like yeah it gave me no practice out in the yard you just throw me in a truck um i'm not comfortable so i stole the truck out a couple times um you know like i said it's been five years and i mean i made it to cleveland and back you know then um tuesday they had to run another load to um newcastle pa um, I had to ride with a, another driver because there wasn't enough trucks. So I didn't drive at all Tuesday. Wednesday, I get to the class. They say, well, Robert, you're going to go with um, the other trainer because we feel you're ready to, you know, go with the other guy. But then they say, well, could you speak to the safety director? So apparently the safety director said that they weren't going to continue my um, training my, because stuff was brought to their attention. Um, I asked them what was brought to their attention. They said under state law, they are not obligated to tell me. But if they were talking about stalling the truck out, whatever the other trainers or trainees were doing the same thing they were stalling the truck out um the super the not supervisor the um trainers or trainees um got yelled at uh the trainer had to yell at the one guy tell him to get out of the truck he would park the truck whatever so they wouldn't tell me why. Um, I don't know what I did. Like I said, the only thing I did was I stalled the truck out a couple times, which you know everyone else was doing it. So it's like, okay, well, why are you letting me go? But yet you're going to keep the other guys. And then I did find out that most of the people that are hired in are ex-felons. They have a program or something through a jail or whatever where you could get your CDL through jail, you know, while you're locked up. Um, I was lied to, you know. Um, I talked to other people that worked for the company. They said that driving for PI and I with that label on the side of your truck you're gonna get pulled over by DOT because they've broken 
uh, the rules and regulations as far as um, being overweight, um, hours of service. And all the other stuff. So, all in all, um, I feel that they screwed me over. Uh, they lied to me. You know, because like I said, they told me, because I said, well, it's been five years since I've dr driven. And they said that would not be a problem. So, that is my review on PI&I. &I.